Imagine making money with art without actually having to be an artist. Well, introducing the quirky and surprisingly profitable world of AI art. And this is something I have been nerding out over recently. And the reason for this is because I met people in real life. I saw them, I saw it with my own eyes. They were making really good money and they didn't have that good of artistic <laughs> skill. And they were making things like stickers and canvases and prints that you put up on your wall. So I decided to dive into the world of print on demand and AI art. And this is gonna be the third video Video that I'm doing in a series of three. And we're gonna be talking about how to make money online with AI art. So first of all, what exactly is AI art? Well, without getting too nerdy, you're basically gonna be using artificial intelligence, machine learning, and neural networks to generate or assist in generating visual artwork. And whether you're an artist right now, or you're someone who's not good at art, but you wanna make extra money by doing print on demand, this might be a great opportunity for you. Now, I've got a feeling that in the next few years, this is gonna turn into one of those massive things like Amazon FBA, or Shopify. So it's probably smart to get in on the ground floor because there's going to be some technology that's popping up in the next few years that's going to make this even better. And I'm going to get into that here in a few minutes. But there was recently a piece of AI artwork that sold for $430,000. And although that is not going to be the most common way to make money, this was at a big art exhibit in New York, it does show the potential and the possibility of AI artwork. So let's talk about how to make money online with AI art. And this is going to be a quick crash course or step-by-step -step guide. First, you want to acquire AI art creation tools. Now, the most common and the most popular and arguably the best one right now is going to be Midjourney. And if you didn't know already, Midjourney basically transforms your prompts into unique artwork. Now, there's other AI art platforms out there. Many of them you can try for free, sometimes completely free, or sometimes there's a free trial. But Midjourney right now is the most established one. So first step's pretty easy. Second step is going to be to create unique artwork. Now, I'm just going to assume that you're using Midjourney, and the best way to do this is to heavily experiment with different prompts. Now, prompting is something you could make an entire video or probably even an entire channel about, and there's lots of content out there when it comes to prompting, but that is going to be the key. And the more specific your prompts are, the more awesome the images that it creates are going to be. And some really good niches to get into right now would be canvases, stickers, posters to put up on your wall, and then of course, you could also do the classic clothes design, such as making something for a t-shirt. Third, you want to set up an online storefront. And this is probably the most important step when it comes to actually making money. And a great place to sell this, especially if you're a beginner, is gonna be an online platform like Etsy. And this will allow you to showcase and sell your prints to a wide audience. You can also use Shopify, but in that case, you're gonna to have to do a lot more of your own marketing. Then number four, and this is very important, you want to use a print on demand service. And a great one that I've been experimenting with and I've been using is Printful. And basically what this is gonna do for you is whenever somebody orders your piece of AI artwork, let's say you're making a t-shirt, for instance, they will actually print it and ship it to the person automatically. So by doing this, they basically just took care of like 80% of the work for you. And by the way, if you want to start a business using Printful, just click the link in the description to check out Printful completely for free. And also I did want to say thank you to Printful for sponsoring this video. Printful has just launched a new membership, which is called Printful Growth and Printful Business. And some of its benefits are going to be up to 30% off discount in other categories and up to 20 percent for direct to garment products, product branding discounts of 7%, and unlimited store accounts and product designs. And soon you'll be able to purchase the Printful Growth membership, so click on the link below and leave your email address to get notified when the subscription goes live. It will pay off in just 10 orders a month, and once you reach the sales target, you can keep the membership for free for a year. And if you keep growing your business, you'll qualify for the Printful Business membership, which means even bigger discounts and additional perks like your sample order discounts increase to 25% and free digitization for all embroidered products. Check out Printful by clicking the link that I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And thanks again to Printful for sponsoring this video. So once you've got Printful integrated with your Etsy shop or your Shopify store, then you want to move on to step number five, which is promote your art. So what I recommend you do next is you utilize social media in order to promote it. Things like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or TikTok are going to be great for this. For instance, you could record a video of how you make made this piece of artwork with a step-by-step -step guide of the prompts that you used. Then under that video, there might be a small percentage of people who want to buy that piece of artwork as a shirt design or as a print or as a sticker. Now, one thing I wanna mention here is make sure you understand how branding works because you wanna have a recognizable brand across all social media platforms. And this is one of the most important steps and there's literally entire channels dedicated to showing you how this works. But just know that marketing and branding are very important when it comes to getting your stuff out there.
there. And there are many creative ways of doing this. For instance, Beeple made a single digital NFT every single day for over 5,000 days. And then he made a compilation of all those NFTs and sold it for $69 million. And by the way, like I said earlier, there's gonna be a ton of opportunities coming down the line that don't exist right now, but they are inevitable. And I'm gonna give a few examples. First of all, AI is gonna be used not only to create just simple pictures, but it's going to be used to create video games, movies, animes, etc. And the video game part to me is particularly interesting. And the reason for that is because I happen to know that video games are getting integrated with the blockchain as well as Web3. And in the near future, I predict in the next two to three years, people are gonna start getting paid big money to make either weapons within video games or even entire levels, right? So there might be kind of like a master video game that you play and then within that video game, which would likely be within the metaverse, there are gonna be other mini games that you can purchase. And these are going to be user generated content. These are gonna be created by people who play the game. And AI is going to make this easier than ever. Now, anyone who's played video games a lot is probably familiar with modded games. So you might be playing Call of Duty or Halo, but you're playing a modded version of it where you can jump really high or everyone can only use knives, but they have infinite throwing knives or something along those lines. And in my opinion, this is gonna be more and more common within video games that are going to be played in the metaverse and even just normal ones as well. Because a lot of the time, these modded games are more fun than the normal game itself. And these companies are gonna start incentivizing people to create the funnest games. So very similar to what Amazon did to incentivize people to create really good products and meet the demand of the market, that same thing is going to happen to the video game industry. Another massive use case for AI generated artwork is going to be 3D printing. So for instance, let's say that you're into cosplay. You like dressing up as your favorite Final Fantasy character, like maybe Cloud from Final Fantasy VII or Yuna from Final Fantasy X. What if you could design one of Cloud or Yuna's weapons and one of their outfits in something very similar to Mid Journey and then order it online? So you didn't have to go through that entire process of making the entire outfit yourself. So you could basically just have Mid Journey create a 3D sword or a 3D outfit, and then you order that online, they make it, they 3D print it, and they ship it to you. I can almost guarantee you that this is going to happen in the near future. And if you're on top of this AI artwork trend, you are going to be able to capitalize on this when it inevitably happens. And it's not just cosplay stuff. People are probably gonna wanna make their own custom clothes as well. Like imagine if you could just take your own measurements, input them into a system, and then design your own shirts and your own shorts and your own shoes. That is very likely gonna be happening in the near future. And this is gonna be the intersection of AI artwork, print on demand, and 3D printing. Anyways, I digress. Step number six is going to be optional, but it's going to be to attend online marketplaces and art fairs. So this is just a good way to kind of get your name out there, meet other people that are doing the same thing, and just keep your finger on the pulse of what is working right now. Chances are you will meet other successful artists who are doing something that's working for them, and you can kind of integrate whatever your style is into whatever strategy that they're using. This is something that's been instrumental in my success as a YouTuber is just simply going out and meeting other YouTubers. So there's a few websites like Artsy, Sachi Art, or Super Rare that offer opportunities to showcase and sell your AI art. You could also use websites like Fiverr and offer specific services, like taking someone's portrait picture, turning it into a really good piece of AI art, and then you can upsell them to put it on a t-shirt or a coffee mug or something along those lines. And if you don't want to do this for yourself, you could do it for a friend of yours as a gag gift or a birthday present. I think you get the picture here. And then step number seven, this is also optional and it's probably a little bit more advanced and that is going to be to collaborate and license. So you can explore partnerships with brands, designers, or businesses that are interested in using your AI art. So this could be many things like I mentioned before. I think the video game industry is going to be huge for this. I mean just think about how much money people spend on Minecraft servers for instance, right? Someone creates a really cool Minecraft server and people will spend a ton of money just to have access to it. There are people making hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars a month with their Minecraft servers. So this is inevitably going to happen with just about every major video game out there. Or you can go more of the classical direction and simply just license your art, sell it for $250 to $1,000 a pop. For instance, let's say somebody wants to use your artwork in a commercial, you'd probably sell it to them for maybe $1,000. Another example of this is, let's say you specialize in making artwork for EDM artists, and they basically just put it in their album artwork, and you could develop a brand for being someone who's really good at making that kind of art. And by the way, if any Anything in this video has piqued your interest, go ahead and share this with a friend. For instance, maybe you want to share the part about video games or print on demand or 3D printing or anything like that. Go ahead, share this with a friend and
and see what their opinion is. And if you agree or disagree with some of the things I said, go ahead, comment down below and let me know. Maybe I'm crazy when it comes to this whole AI artwork thing. Maybe I've been drinking too much coffee, but I really do see a ton of potential here. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons of AI artwork. So some of the pros are going to be endless creativity, global reach, it's cost effective, it's convenient, and you have great exposure. Some of the cons of AI artwork is going to be authenticity concerns, market saturation, technical barriers, intellectual property issues, and limited emotional connection. And I honestly feel like AI art is going to be very similar to EDM music. So I'm personally a pretty big fan of EDM music. And the reason for that is because I think it really lowered the barrier to making music. You no longer have to spend 10 years becoming, you know, incredibly good at playing the guitar just to make a song. You just have to learn how to use a soundboard and you can add guitar, piano, flute, harmonica, saxophone, whatever you want. And so one person can make the same type of song that in the past would require an entire band. Now this has decreased the barrier to entry for making music. And the result of that is there's a lot of terrible music out there, right? There's a lot of absolutely terrible EDM music. And I think that's one of the main reasons why it gets such a bad rap. But some of the best EDM artists are incredibly good. And EDM has influenced almost every industry out there. Just about everyone, even country music artists are using soundboards now. So I do think it's smart to just embrace AI artwork because it's not going to stop and you can use it to make your art even better. Now, by the way, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be coming out with a bunch of different content on how to make more money. Let me know how you've been experimenting with different AI tools. Let me know what AI tools you really like. By the way, I did talk about how to get started with Printful and you can check that out by clicking right here.